Let's check if you have an unlocked iPhone. Now, if you're wondering if your specific iPhone is unlocked, can you go over to different carriers? Is it open to use anywhere and with any carrier that you want? I'm gonna walk you through the entire process, but first hit the subscribe button down below. It really helps me out. Thanks guys. Now there's the ability to lock or unlock your phone, your iPhone or your Android. This essentially means whether it is locked or tied to a specific carrier or unlocked is basically you can use it on any carrier. Keep in mind, this is different from jailbroken. So jailbroken means that essentially you've replaced the iOS operating system on your iPhone, the default Apple operating system with a separate third party kind of a little bit sketchy software that is not iOS and that avoids a lot of warranties, causes a lot of issues, all that stuff. So we're talking about unlocked versus locked and not jailbroken versus unjailbroken. Now, to be able to check it, we're gonna head into your settings here. And the first thing you can do is tap on cellular and then cellular data at the very top. On here, sometimes depending on your settings and your carrier, it will tell you whether basically it is locked to that specific carrier or whether it's unlocked and there are no restrictions onto your phone. So this is one place to look. The second place to look is to go back, tap on general, and then at the very top, let's tap on about. Now that we're on here, we just need to scroll down and you can see right under EID is carrier lock and it says no SIM restrictions, indicating that this iPhone, the iPhone 14 Pro that I have in my hands is unlocked. If it does say that there are SIM restrictions or any kind of restrictions, then it is a locked phone and you can't go from one carrier to another carrier until you basically pay off the phone. They lock it when you still owe money on that specific phone. Now, another thing that you can check is you can just copy this IMEI number right here. So tap and hold and hit copy. And then you can open up a web browser and on basically a web browser, depending on what carrier you have, you can type in something like AT&T unlock request. Of course, if you have Sprint, T-Mobile, Verizon, whatever, just type in that carrier unlock request. Now you can see AT&T device unlock. I can go there and I can choose to start an unlock request if I want to. And I can also just hit check your unlock status request. Uh, on here. So I can just paste in this IMEI number and a request number if you've already gotten one. And then you'll be able to see what the status is after you've requested to unlock that specific device. So you can go on here for any carrier and go through the process, even if it's locked, that doesn't necessarily mean that it cannot be unlocked. Essentially, after you have a phone and you've paid it fully off, then they don't automatically unlock it for you. You have to go through this process of requesting it, but since it is fully paid off, they'll just do that within like a day or two days or three days, and you have a fully unlocked phone. I hope this helps. If it did, hit the like button down below and leave a comment if you still have any questions. Thanks guys.